position. Arizona a year ago here at Husky Stadium absolutely demolished 54 to 10. The Cats remember. Malibu on the option, nothing doing. A loss of two, and it is Steve Eppman, the young Gene Washington spoke of just a few moments ago. Malibu, the junior out of Carson, California, he sparkled against Stanford as he did last year against UCLA on that big, big team. Billy Johnson, he is the fullback. He's only 196 pounds, but as I said a few moments ago, he has got to have a big, big game today. And the offensive line is anchored by John Fina. It is now second down and 12. In motion, Antoine Carter. Mason comes up with it. You see a lot of purple jerseys around it, and that's what the dogs do create turnovers and generally capitalize. Great field position. Still very close when it was 14 to nothing. Now they jump out ahead 21 to nothing on his effort. Missed last season with a knee after having led the conference in tackles. Lost his job to Dave Hoffman, but working back in the lineup. And they'll beat him to the point of attack as they did right there. One of the problems Arizona is having trying to run the game, and they have minus 14 yards rushing, is they don't have a big fullback to get out in front of Chuck Levy or Antoine Carter.
And then Colin caught it. Watch Donald Jones come around and bother Mavaruto on the sprint out just a little bit right there as he gets shot. But the play is made right here. Left hand in the air. The old tip drill. Picks it off into the end zone. The Huskies kick the extra point. Washington goes on top. 34 to nothing with four minutes to go in the second quarter, Bill. It should come as absolutely no surprise whatsoever to those who follow high school basketball in the Portland, Oregon. Open field, tough tackle to make. And Dana Hall has missed a couple here this afternoon. Second and 15, Huskies are coming. He said, I'm not sure I can go another 50 yards. There's only 11 seconds left. Shane Pahokoa delivered a hammer on that man right there. Well, Shane, the free safety. Watch him coming. Donald Smith, 48, the first guy to the inside. But that's Pahokoa that makes the play that pops the ball in the air. And then look at those hands as he snatches the ball. Number 90 in the right of your screen. Empman trying to get a little bit of a block. But you know those linemen, they are used to running long distances. They, they <laughs> look at Arizona's possession thus far in the ball game. Take a look. Punt, fumble, punt, punt, punt. Get out of work on your kicking game that way. And the fumble at the end there, of course, was another area of those turnovers, one, two of the five that they had so far today. The Wildcats from a 17 to nothing deficit. Was almost in a position of having to tackle Andy Mason. Malaulu's handoff almost went to that guy. <laughs> well, from the left side of your screen, or the right side in this instance, you see him step up to the inside. Carter just blasts him to make that tackle. Lucky they didn't have a fumble for him so he could step up and really follow through on the toss, and of course, result in a nice success. side number 39 no one ever touches him as he just bolts through there to make the play and that tells you the respect for the Washington defense short yardage they were going to go to the air and couldn't even get it off on a quick rhythm pass I don't think Edmund hasn't got some agility and quickness at 290 pounds he could do a backflip Six two, 225 pounds has the speed of a sprinter. You talk to Jim Lambright, he says, this guy Hoffman is the physical leader of this Huskies defensive unit. Well, there again, they're trying to bring the guard and tackle. They're blocking down on that left side. They left a little gap in Hoffman right there. He sees that gap. He took it, penetrated, made the play. Number 90, Steve Entman. Gene? Bill, you're exactly right. He is big, big in a lot of ways, not only in stature, but in his performance on the football field. You guys got a shutout against a team that usually runs the ball very well, but you guys really stuffed this team today. Well, I'm real pleased with our defensive performance today. Uh, we stuck it together real well today, and uh, our secondary played uh, tremendous, and we played pretty well up front. So, uh, you know, I, I'm real pleased. I think it's the first time we really came together as a team good and uh, got the job done. Can you compare this football team at all to the team last year? You guys have a good shot to be number one in the country, and things seem to be falling in place for you. Yeah, well, you know, I think we compare with last year's team. We're a little bit different, but, uh, you know, it's the same kind of philosophy of attack, get upfield, you know, and make big plays. What about you? Everyone is double-teaming you, and sometimes they triple-team you. How frustrating is that for you? Well, it's frustrating, but, you know, I really don't care. It's a, it's a team effort out here, and if I'm getting double-teamed Hoffman or Frederick or someone, Don Jones is going to step up and make a big play, so... You know, it's, it's a team effort, like I say, and, and if I get double team, that's fine, as long as someone makes a play. Congratulations. Thanks for being with us. Okay, there he is.